G'day, Andrew from Mr. Moo RC, and it's time to do a new video. Tool time. We recently received some new products. These included some essential tools for working on and maintaining your nitro engines. I wanted to do this video to go through them in a little bit more detail and show you the benefits of them. Alrighty, so let's get into it. Um, the first product I wanted to show you is the Hesse tuned non-scratch flywheel pliers. These are basically like a multi-grip that have a nylon insert in the jaws of the pliers that you can use on um, your flywheel for installing and removing the flywheel and basically help stop scratching and damaging the flywheel in the process. They actually come with a spare set of nylon shoes should you ever need to replace them, which is quite good for the and very good value for money. Your more traditional tool, if you walked into a hobby store, would be this type of um, flywheel tool that you can see um, goes over the pins on the flywheel, like so. Problem with this is, and I mean, that works, it locks the flywheel nicely for tightening the nut on your crank, but it puts a lot of strain on the pins in the process, and it's quite easy to damage the pins and that will affect the performance and operation of your clutch which you don't want to do so as a result I'm not a fan of that type of tool. So let's go through this in more detail. We have our nitro engine, our flywheel cone, on goes our flywheel and then we get our um, non-scratch flywheel pliers and they're adjustable to Make sure it fits over the flywheel like so. And then you can use your um, glow plug spanner to tighten up the 10 mil nut. Like so. Perfect. And no issues on the flywheel. Okay, so the second tool that we've recently got in is from OS Speed. These are the Nitro Engine Circlet Pliers. Let me just open these up. Um, so as you can see, they have a really fine tip on them, which is just the right tool for doing conrod changes and getting into the circlip um, that holds the piston pin or gudgeon pin on the end of the conrod slash piston yeah so we'll just give that a go now and show you exactly how it works Okay, so as you can see, they work pretty well. They're just the right tool for grabbing on the tail of the circlet to being able to get it out more easily. Um, one thing I would say is when you do do anything with con rods, make sure you always use a brand new circlet when changing the con rod. Lucky our OS con rods these days actually come with multiple clips with the actual new rod when you purchase them. So that's always really handy. So both those products are now available on our website. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check them out. They're very reasonably priced. Thanks for watching. If you've got any comments or any questions, feel free to leave them below. Thanks guys.